Hey guys and welcome back to another video and today we're going to be looking at a potential team that Liverpool could have next year on FIFA. Now some of these players are going to be uh, current Liverpool players, some of them are going to be new signings and some are going to be uh, some that Liverpool have been scouting. So, you can see the team on the screen now, uh, we've got some players on the bench. In goal we're starting off, I think personally, well first off actually let's start with the formation. So it is going to be the 4-2-3-1. Um, Liverpool like to play a lot of cams and I'd say that Mane and Lallana are going to play as more wider cams, more than quite central. And Coutinho will be allowed to run through the middle of them. So as I said, if we start off with the goalkeeper, we actually have Carrius in goal. Now I think that he's going to start over Mignolet personally. And I will be showing the second team in this video as well, just as a bit of a variation. Right back, we've only really got John Flanagan, so I think Nathaniel Klein's going to start ahead of him. Um, and Flanagan could come into the second team. Not really much to say about that, that's just what I think. Now, centre backs, I had a real struggle picking this, because I personally really like Sacco as well as Lovren and Matip. Obviously, Skirtle has been sold to Fenerbahce for 5.5 million today, or yesterday, uh, when you're watching this video. Um, so I've actually gone with Matip and Lovren. But that's probably going to change at some point in the season. Obviously, if somebody gets injured, Sacco will jump straight into that place. But I think all three of them are very talented centre-backs and could easily play. Now, left-back. I've left out Alberto Moreno. And I've actually put in Jonas Hector. Um, obviously, playing for Cologne. Had a very good season. Uh, got a team this season for them as well. And Liverpool have been quite heavily linked with him um, over the last few months. Recently, it's died off a bit. But they were very, very heavily linked with him. Uh, last month, so we could still potentially sign him, and I have some players on the subs and reserves as well that uh, we're going to speak about that we've been linked with as well. So that's why he's in the left back position. Now the two centre defensive midfielders I didn't really know whether to put Milner in here instead of Henderson or Emery Chan instead of Lucas. So I've just gone off personal preference. I think Lucas is a great player. Obviously he's been linked with uh, Besiktas quite a lot over the last few seasons now. So it would be sad to see him go if he does go, but for now I think he'll stay in the team. Uh, obviously he scored against Fleetwood the other night as well. If you didn't watch that game, uh, it was just a little pre-season game. Then I'm going to put Henderson in the other uh, left centre the defensive midfielder, more as a box-to-box -box player, as he, uh, as he does like to play there. And he is our captain as well, so obviously he's going to be in the team. Then uh, in the centre attacking midfield spot, we're going to be uh, chucking in Philip Coutinho. Obviously, as I've already said, to run through the middle, he likes having shots from range, and he's very creative as well. So if he's got that uh, kind of triangle or diamond head in front of him, he can play the ball through the gaps. Uh, if you imagine the gap between Lallana's card and Sturridge's card, and the same with uh, Mane and Sturridge's card there, if you see the little gaps in the middle, um, that's where we'd be looking to play balls through. And uh, he's very good at that, so I can see him definitely being there. Now, as I've said about uh, Mane and Lallana already, uh, Mane is definitely a winger. I know it's a centre forward, but he's been playing left midfield for Liverpool in pre-season so far. And he did play right midfield and sometimes left midfield for Southampton last year. So uh, even though he can play centre forward, he's a good option there. But I do think he's going to be playing more of a um, left mid or a cam. Um, so, yeah, he's not, if he is playing cam, he's not going to be central. He's going to be wider, as I said. Uh, as he has got that pace and uh, flair about him. Same with Lallana, not got as much pace, but he's got a lot of flair and he likes to cut in for shots or uh, cross or play little one two. So I think he's going to be very similar to uh, Mane in that respect. Now up front, I was going to go uh, with quite a few players. Sorry there. I, w I wasn't going to go with Ben Teke. Personally, I think he's going to get sold at some point. Um, I could have gone with Danny Ings. Could have gone with uh, Divock Origi. Could have gone with Firmino as well, but I've gone with um, I've gone with Sturridge up there as I think he will be our first choice striker if he's fit. So uh, that that's the first team. So we're just going to go on to the subs and reserves now and uh, have a look at some of the players we have been linked with. So if we drop down into the uh, reserves, we'll start off on the right hand side. We've got Andrew Robertson here um, of Hull at left back. Obviously, we don't seem very keen on Moreno. So we've also got Chilwell there as well, but we've had quite a few bids projected for him. We've got Perisic, who would be good an option. Uh, we've got Dahoud, who's got a team this season. We've got Sissoko from Newcastle. Zielinski, uh, I've never heard of him very much, but Liverpool have been linked with him a lot. We've also got Camacho, 
Wijnaldum. Uh, we've got Teo as well there, who's actually uh, turned down a bid. Um, or Barcelona has turned down a bid. Or he said he don't want to come or something. Higuain would be a fantastic player. But uh, he said he's willing to come to Liverpool, but I just don't think we'll have the money. Goethe, he died off a bit. We were heavily linked with him, but not anymore. And then Subotic, we spoke about in the transfer talk video. So uh, that's the first team in the sub. So let's go on to the second team. Right then, so if we come on to the second team now, you can see it there. Uh, a lot different, different, uh, same formation, sorry, but uh, different players in all positions. So, started off with Mignolet in goal, as I've already said. Not really much to talk about. I just think Carrius is going to get the nod ahead of him. Um, right back, again, as I've spoken about, we've only really got Klein and Flanagan. So, uh, we've got Conor Randall as well, but I don't think he's uh, good enough to be playing in there. So, we have got Flanagan in there. Centre backs, we've got uh, Sacco and potentially Subotic as well. If we do go ahead and put a bid in for him, it'd be a nice player to add in uh, to make our squad a bit deeper. Um, left back, we've got Moreno, obviously. Uh, not had a great last season. Uh, not great going forward, but just not very uh, not very intelligent defensive wise. So uh, that's why he's in the second team. Then the midfield guys, we've just. We've got that many midfielders. Either of these midfields could be the first team uh, midfield, but we've just got that many of the same kind of ability midfielders that I've, I've just made two teams basically. So the two centre defensive mids, we've got Joe Allen, who's had a fantastic World Cup. Uh, every video I say World Cup. I mean Euros, he's had a fantastic Euros with Wales, and uh, Emre Chan as well, he, he didn't really play much in the Euros, but um, he has he had a great season for us last year as well. Um, first centre attacking mid, he'd probably be playing more centre mid, more than attacking mid, but we have got James Milner in there, um, he's a bit on and off, he can be, obviously he's a very experienced, and he can deliver some good passes, but you know, some days he can deliver some poor ones. And then uh, right centre attacking mid, we have Roberto Firmino. He would play more central, uh, along with the guy on the left too. If you don't recognise him, it's Marco Grujic, uh, our new signing. Uh, we actually signed him in January, but uh, he couldn't join us. Or we put him back out on loan from uh, Red Star Belgrade. So I've made that concept card there for him. Uh, and then in the striker position, we finish off with Divock Origi up front. Could have gone with Danny Ings, but uh, I never... I just put Divock Origi in there, but don't get me wrong, Danny Ings could definitely be in there as well. So uh, let me know what you think about these two uh, teams, guys. I will be doing other teams, such as Man United or Arsenal, or other teams like that. Drop a comment, uh, let me know what teams you'd like to see me do. But apart from that, that's going to be the end of the video, guys. So, uh, yeah, as I said, drop a like and subscribe way around here. But apart from that, have a very nice rest of the day, and I will see you in the next video.